Hey guys, it's me. Check out this beautiful truck we have in the yard. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the importance of aerodynamics, okay? The importance of an aerodynamic truck in 2021 going into 2022. Look at this beauty. I can't express to you in 2021 how important it is to have a, an aerodynamic truck. We're gonna be comparing the fuel consumption between these old iron versus new iron flat nose versus an aerodynamic truck. I'm gonna get into the analytics and I'm gonna show you why in the world this owner operator decided to stop driving this truck. I I've taken the analytics of all these three trucks. We're gonna go into how much money this owner operator spent on fuel throughout the entire year. I'm gonna show you how much money this owner operator spent on fuel the entire year. And I'm gonna show you some of our other owner operators just so you guys can compare and see the importance of aerodynamic. And you're gonna actually see what the total amount of fuel value is. We're talking about tens of thousands of dollars. No, we're talking a lot more than that. We're talking about 30 to $40,000. Can you believe that? Well, don't believe me, believe my analytics, okay? Let's get to it. You guys need to understand why I created this video. I created this video because over the course of 15 years, especially in the last three, four years, as the fuel hikes, I've been getting a lot of owner operators that are just giving up, that are saying, you know what, they're calling it quits. And there's a common denominator between these owner operators, okay? And I wish I would have caught them before they made a purchase for their trucks. I wish I would have caught them so I can educate them on what trucks to get or what owner operators are a lot more successful. Now, I know in the US, you guys don't look too much at the fuel prices because your rates are through the roof. You guys are building between three to $4 per mile. Here in Canada, it's not like that. Most owner operators work for a major fleet okay a big carrier now these big carriers they all pay at pretty much about the same anywhere between a dollar fifty to a dollar sixty five if you're doing flatbeds a dollar seventy five a dollar eighty but that's our ranges here in Canada it's more you're getting paid more from a dollar fifty to a dollar eighty and that's where we all lie so if you're working for a carrier in New Brunswick if you're working for a carrier in Nova Scotia Ontario um, you know, Alberta or British Columbia, you are falling in these pay rates of $1.50 to $1.80. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how big of a difference your truck makes on an annual basis. Okay, so I've taken a few owner operators and I want to show you the difference in fuel and how big of a difference it makes when you're spending, you know, when you have one of those aerodynamic trucks versus a non aerodynamic truck. So more like, you know, old iron versus new, new iron and a video that I've made, you know, probably about six months ago has got about 300 or 400,000 views on it. And people are just blasting me when I talk about how much I hate old iron. And the reason that I hate old, old iron so much is because it's destroyed, literally destroyed families out there. It's destroyed people out there. People have gone into bankruptcy because of these units. And, and you guys need to be made aware of that. Now I'm not recruiting anybody, so I really don't care, you know, whether you come work for ET or you don't come work for ET. This channel is more about you guys guys and educating you guys. But when you see the amount of difference in the data that I'm going to show you in posts here on the screen, okay, it might just change your mind. So I'm trying to get uh, owner operators, you know, more to understand the difference on an annual basis on how much you guys are spending because people don't even look at it like, oh, it doesn't make a difference or, oh, it's just a couple of cents or it's just half a half a mile per gallon. Well, no, today you're going to see how much money that equates to at the end of the year. You'll see how much money um, the difference is between running these old iron or these non aerodynamic trucks versus the aerodynamic trucks. Now, the data that I have is only for the our fleet. So these are drivers working here in Canada, primarily running the Midwest USA and Southeast USA. So let's get into it. So let's take our first analytics for, for trucks. Now, trucks these days, I mean, when you're thinking of buying a truck or if you're thinking of becoming an owner operator or thinking of becoming even a lease operator, this is very, very important information. The amount of people, the amount of lives that these trucks destroyed, okay? I wish I would have met these people before they had purchased a truck, just like I'm doing right now okay and if you're thinking of, of buying a truck you remember this video so here are the stats let's get into it so let's get into unit our first unit which is our aerodynamic truck okay so our first unit we're gonna pull up is unit 677 and over the course of the entire year okay this driver drove 120,000 miles okay so this is a mediocre driver it's not nothing crazy it's not a team or anything like that 120,000 miles and I'll post up the data over here just so we can compare unit to unit okay so 
120,000 miles is what this driver drove and his average uh, miles per gallon is 8.2 miles per gallon. Now, if you think that that's a lot over the course of the year, you know, this is probably one of the higher ones. So most of our Cascadia is with the Detroit and the way we spec our trucks, they fall into this category. They're usually between eight and above, I would say eight to 8.5. But when you take the information for the entire year, then the numbers kind of go down a little bit. It's very hard to maintain 8.5 throughout the winter months and summer months, okay? But this truck here at 8.2 miles per gallon, driving 120,000 miles, spent on fuel $81,000 Canadian. So we have to break this down into mileage. So let's talk about how much it costs this Cascadia to run a mile based on today's fuel. So these are actual transactions of fuel of these drivers that are filling up and all of them in our fleet, primarily they fill up in the same stations. So let's talk about this on how much cents per mile does it cost on fuel. So $81,000 Canadian is what this driver spent on fuel driving 120,000 miles. So if you take $81,000 divided by 120,000 miles, we're talking about 67.5 cents Canadian per mile mile and divide this by 1.26 we're talking about 53 cents um, I need a piece of paper and a pen 50 okay guys so I have the data so we have here an aerodynamic truck that drove 120,000 miles $81,000 Canadian is what he spent on fuel so I'll break it down for you this driver spent 53 cents US per mile on fuel and 67 cents Canadian on fuel. So I'll do the US and Canadian because we have primarily an American channel, but there's a lot of Canadians that are watching this. Okay, so 53 cents. Now let's go into these non aerodynamic trucks. Okay, so we're talking about the trucks that have a flat nose that are 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 basically uh, going against the wind when they're driving constantly with 80,000 pounds. All right, so you remember that beautiful truck that we saw outside the nice red one. Okay, so throughout the year, this driver drove at a combined 6.2 miles per gallon. The driver drove 126,000 miles. I'm going to break it down on what this driver spent per mile on fuel. The amount of money this driver spent on fuel is 90 cents per mile. Okay, that's Canadian and 72 cents per mile US. So when we compare it to the first truck, the first truck spent $81,000 on fuel and the second driver spent $114,000 running almost the exact same miles. But if we take 81,000 and we subtract 114,000, driver number two spent $33,000 more on fuel. Again, they're both getting paid the exact same. Right. They both have the same pay package. One of them is spending thirty three thousand dollars a year on fuel more than the first driver. Think about that. Thirty three thousand dollars a year. I mean, I did a video on passive income. Do you know what you could do with this thirty three thousand dollars per year over the course of the next three or four years? Guys, wake up. OK, these trucks are just like I said, just like my title is old trucks are 100 percent junk. And this is the reason why this is the reason why it makes people go bankrupt. People here, most of most of us Canadians, we work on a per mileage basis. All right. If I'm getting paid a dollar 60 or a dollar 70 or a dollar 80 per mile and I'm spending 90 cents of it on fuel, where's the logic? Where in the world is the logic? Let's go into one more example. OK because this one might be just a fluke. Okay, guys, so the next unit I'm gonna be talking about, it's a it's a W900, a 2021 W900. I mean, it is gorgeous, it is beautiful, it is stunning. But at the end of the day, let's have a look at this driver's fuel consumption, okay? So the driver drove over the course of the entire year from January 1st to January 16th, sorry, to December 16th, because that's today's date and that's all the data that I have, uh, the W900 that I'm going to choose right now drove 120,000 miles. To be exact, it drove 119,335 miles. So we'll round it up to 120,000 miles. And the driver spent on fuel $108,000. So this is identical mileage to our first truck, okay, that drove at 8.2 miles per gallon. And this driver drove 6.2 miles per gallon. So let's have a look at how much he spent money on per mile. 
So the driver spent $108,000 on fuel over the course of the entire year. This equates to 90 cents per mile is what this driver spent in Canadian. If you convert it to US, it's 71.5 cents US per mile is what this driver spent. So we have our first driver now, we have our second driver, now we have our third driver, and I'm going to go into one more unit here at our company just so you guys can see the difference. I want you guys to have the data, I want you to see the difference, okay? Here is the stats for, for this unit. So this 1999 Peterbilt, uh, I did a video on it before, why don't we listen up? Is it worth it to drive this Peterbilt? You make the comments, put it down below, only you can decide. Okay, so let's take this next unit. This next unit was running at 6.4 miles per gallon. Driver drove 112,000 miles and he spent on fuel $99,533. So this driver spent on fuel 88 cents per mile Canadian, divide that by 1.26, where he spent 70.5 cents. So here we go, guys. We have four different trucks that I did, okay? Here's truck number one, here's truck number two, here's truck number three, and here's truck number four. Just so you can see here, I'll put on the right-hand side, what these units spend per mile on fuel. Now, what does that equate to? So we're talking about 30 to 35,000. If you're gonna take anything from this video, this is what you take. If you buy any one of these flat nose trucks, you will spend 30 to $35,000 per year on fuel. If you have nothing better to do with your money, please send your money my way, okay? Because I can definitely use it. So if you're gonna take anything from this video, it's this point here, is if you buy any one of these trucks with a flat nose, you will spend $35,000 per year more on any one of these aerodynamic trucks. Now again, I'm not here to sell you freight, li freight liners, okay? I'm not here to sell you any trucks, but remember, the aerodynamic trucks, we're talking about the Volvos, we're talking about the Freightliners, we're talking about the Kenworths, the next gens, okay? Those are aerodynamic trucks and that's what you should be looking at, especially if you're gonna be doing long haul, you might as well buy yourself those trucks and save yourself that $35,000 per year. And if you convert the $35,000 US, uh, that comes out to $27,777 US. So $35,000 Canadian, $27,700 US is what you will be saving every single year driving one of these trucks over one of these trucks. Again, there's going to be a lot of comments, all right, about DEF, about this, about that. I can assure you that it's not nearly the fraction of the cost of what these drivers are saving, okay, even with the DEF, okay? The EGR valves and all that other stuff that you guys keep bringing up, that stuff is history. We own a lot of Ovos and we own a lot of Freightliners and they don't have those problems anymore. Six, seven years ago, yes, they used to have a ton of problems. Today, those have all been corrected. I'm not here to sell you any trucks. I am just here to tell you that I, I just see where people go wrong and where they lose money, okay? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that's going to be buying a truck, Anytime soon, you tag them into this video. If you know anybody that's a truck driver or a lease operator or an owner operator or somebody that's getting into this industry, share this video because I've seen so many people hang it up and I've seen so many people go through bankruptcy and I've seen so many people give back to finance companies these trucks because they didn't do the proper research on these engines and these trucks. We need to go with something, it's 2021, we're approaching 2022, the cost of fuel is through the roof, okay? It's not like 25, 30 years ago where cost of fuel was only 40 or 30 cents per liter, which is, I don't know right now how much it is per gallon, uh, one third of what we're paying right now. But guys, the cost of fuel is on the rise and it's gonna continue rising. What are you gonna do to make yourself more successful? What are you gonna do to make you, to give yourself that competitive advantage over other drivers out there? Imagine if the market, if the trucking market is gonna go sideways, who is the first one to fold? Who's the first one to go out of business? It's these flat nose trucks that are gonna be the first ones to go out of business because they won't be able to afford, you know, going back to older rates. And for us Canadians that are working per mile, I mean, come on, spending 90 cents per mile or 88 cents per mile on fuel, that's ridiculous. It's a joke. We don't get paid two, three dollars per mile to drive. Our rates are only $1.50 to $1.80. So make sure you do your homework. And if you are thinking of purchasing your next truck, remember this video. 
If you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.